Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you league action today. What might we see today, Stuart? Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10, and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, they're playing the same shape, really, so it's all about getting control of that central area and which of the wide players has the greatest effect on the game. And the contest begins. And Fernandez. Fernandez. And they're moving the ball neatly enough, just looking for that decisive pass. He's managed to lose his marker. To take the lead! Keeper did his job to begin with. And in the end, no damage done. Intense pressure. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Fernandes, Angulo, and now with Fernandes. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Nogueira. He's got space. He made it look simple, really. And a clear foul, but the referee left the tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the referee has decided to book him. Well, it's not a good challenge, and quite rightly, he gets a yellow card for that. And Fernandez. It could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Well, do you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek? They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Deciding to go inside. 
And what a way to silence the crowd. Well, as you can see, he gets a touch on this, but it's not quite enough to stop the goal. It was a good effort, though. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Chance to do damage. But they took care of the situation defensively. Can he take the chance? Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Nogueira. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? And the counter looks on here. Options available. And now with Fernandes. Angulo, and do they mean business on this occasion? So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Going short cross could be useful and the danger clear pressing high and they have the ball again and he's outdone himself wonderful save there oh what an opportunity and there it is the goal they wanted for security they lead by two now they can breathe that bit more easily Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. The first half here comes to an end. Well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Yeah, you're right. He needs to impose... As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Angulo. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. And there the attack ends for now. Martins might be able to set up the chance. But no, just offside. Well, it was close and it is offside. The assistant got that absolutely right. Angulo. Foul. And now with Fernandes. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And the danger is averted. 
Now a decent position. And the ball is loose. Well, it's right over for now. Nogueira. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Succeeded in keeping it in play. And moving the ball nicely. And he's made headway. Oh dear, a moment to forget all about, I think. Well, he has to do a lot better there. He's gone for power, but he's completely miscued it. And they're making a change. Well, the visitors have controlled possession, as you can see, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Counter-attacking very much an option. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Foul. Inman. Well, that piece of play very easy on the eye. So the final whistle almost upon us, and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, there's been a real lack of energy right from the start of the game, certainly when they haven't had the ball. Their closing down, decision-making and recovery runs just haven't been good enough. Can he convert? Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Angulo. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. A bit short with the clearance. And so into the final five minutes. Pressing as a team. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed.